When using OFX plugins formulating diffusion filters and lens characteristics, you can get amazing results in the grade. Which by definition means that, well, the DP on set is left with quite a clean image. And I'd argue that making lighting and framing choices based on such an incomplete image will lead to a worse result. So that begs the question, is there any way to monitor OFX plugins on set? Well, yes. What you need for that is first a camera that can output a log signal over SDI or HDMI. To emulate how light interacts with filters and lenses in the real world, the OFX has to get the camera signal back into a scene linear state. And log transfer functions are our best bet for that. Second, a powerful computer. Because these OFX are rather power hungry. Third, an IO card for getting the log image into Resolve and DaVinci Resolve for applying to OFX. And now that we have everything needed, let's set it up. First, make sure your camera is outputting a log signal. In Blackmagic cameras, you have to check the clean feed and uncheck apply LUT. Hook up the IO card to the camera and computer, open up Resolve and create a new project. Open up Resolve Preferences, System, Video and Audio IO and choose your IO card from the capture device dropdown. Create an empty timeline, drag an adjustment clip on there, and open the color page. Finally, turn on Resolve Live, either from the color menu or by pressing Command or Control R. At this point, if all has gone to plan, you should be seeing a live feed of your camera image inside of Resolve. At which point, you're free to start adding effects and grades as usual. So let's set up an example node tree. For color management, I'll have a CSD at the beginning going from the camera's color space to the Vinci white commit intermediate and as my DRT, well, let's use Juan Pablo's 2499. For the look, let's do something quick with the Pixel Tools DC Tells, Filmic Contrast and Hue Shift Crosstalk. For balancing, I'll do as much as I can in camera using the white balance and tint settings and finish up with the prime grade DC Tell. And now what we're all here for. Let's add some textural character to this shot. For grain and elation, my go-to is Video Village's film box. For the fusion filters, Video Village has us covered yet again with Scatter. But for a long time, we hadn't had a great tool for adding characteristics typically associated with lenses. That is until now. The guys over at Lensmill, correction, Node Mill, have just come out with version 1.0 of their OFX plugin LensNode. This is a tool that has earned a place in my look development node tree. Instead of having to hunt for vintage lenses, I can now offer an option for the DP to just shoot using the cleanest, best glass they have and apply all of these effects using OFX both on set and in post. Will it match the real thing one to one? Well, no. None of these plugins will, but that's besides the point. We use them to create something custom, to help tell the story. Plus, well, we have more flexibility in post if we use them. By the way, for transparency, Nodemill did provide me with a license for making this video, but I was the one to reach out to them and they haven't had any creative control over this video, except for making a great tool. Anyways, links to all of the tools used in this video are down below. I'm Gaur, see you next time.